Hello and welcome back to the Radical Removins. So we are now a kingdom. Isn't that great? Fantastic. Now nobody wants to be my vassal right away, but it does give us some advantages. There are some new wars that we can declare. So if I go up here and have a look at this guy, uh, maybe that guy's a bad example. If I look at this one, also a bad example. If I look at this one, Yes, forced vassalization is now available against a larger collection of people because it specifically says that they have to be a lower rank than us. And, well, they are. So, given that people don't want to be our vassal because they don't believe that we are strong enough, I have an alternative solution. We won't give them a choice. They will simply become our vassal. There we go. Let's force vassalization. Uh, actually, how strong is he? Uh, much, much weaker. Okay, just wanted to double check before I declare my war. Force some vassalization on them. It's no longer my friend's land, that's my friend's son. So, uh, yeah, no mercy, basically. Right, head up this way, and uh, we can get that land. We'll merge in a uh, Sudovia. We have a new heir, B. Aranus, is winning the uh, the vote so far. Oh, no, now my other son's winning. It's basically as each person gets a vote there, it's changing who's going to be uh, in charge. If I go and have a look now. Yeah, it's four to three. The people who are with us are voting with us. The people who are against us are voting against us. He looks entirely unqualified. Appears to be the main reason for voting against it. And he is only a child. But at the same time, I trust the ju uh, the ruler. Is the um, reason that they're voting for me. Bet if I voted for him, the, the split would go roughly the same in the other direction as well. So, it's fine. Uh, right. Attack in. Defeating their army. Absolutely easy. Oh, and we got 100% because we just captured them. Offer peace and force our demands. Easy enough. Right, we are now threatening... Just a very, uh, just very slightly threatening, but threatening nonetheless. Make sure that we have um, leaders. Expand our troops, and now, yeah, he he doesn't like me at all, but that's okay. Uh, will you be my vassal? No. Okay, fair enough. You be my vassal? No. Okay, we'll hold off a second or two then. Right, let's try and get some money back. There are defensive packs opposing us, but money's coming in, and our weaponsmith has finished in two provinces, which means that we now have uh, a lot more retinue available if we want to. We don't actually have enough to buy the one retinue I want, but whatever. The flighting. Many warriors have gathered in the Great Hall tonight. The dinner has just started. I already feel eager to test my metal against one of them. It's been some time since we had a good flighting. And there are plenty of candidates known for their crude manners and their sharp tongue for me to choose from. I'll settle for nobody less than our best speaker. Yeah. We always challenge the best. I stand up and shout Viva's name in the dining hall, catching many warriors' attentions, and challenge her to a flighting. Now, I only need to decide what subject will cut deep under Viva's skin. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like a battle of words? Uh, of insults? I don't know, what were we going to say? Do you dress as a warrior because you could never pass for a lady? Oh, okay. Somebody warn Viba that she won't be paid by word. More, uh, more effective in envious and shy, lustful. Okay, she's not lustful. You can scarcely believe how a chief, how a little a chiefess like you could accomplish. Ambitious and proud will take that. She is proud. Or, let's be quick about this game, your mother's legs still wait for me. <laughs> oh yeah, w but we lose prestige if we uh, insult her like that. No, no, we'll insult her with one of these ones. Um, let's say, um, do you dress as a warrior because you could never pass for a lady? Viva points at me with a smirk, saying that they're hardly is a warrior more cowardly and feeble than the one uh, shrinking between my legs. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. That's a good insult. I lost my temper. Seeing I was unable to rebuke Viva's insults, the crowd quickly sided with her, ensuring her victory. At the very least, I admit defeat. Viva calms uh, me down and orders a drink for both of us, ensuring that it was all done in good fun and that it was not her intention to seriously offend me, if you say so. 
He's a gallant winner, but we're, we're a bad loser. Oh, we've been given another person to fight. Uh, as the occasional, one way is the occasional sparring match. Okay, we strive to better ourselves than each other. One way is the occasional sparring match for practice and honor. Seek out and duel the veteran Erd Villas. You'll find him in Zet, um, Zimatia? Anyway, something like that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, there's dual experience. I didn't realize it was something we could actually see. So he's got a dual experience of five. We've got a dual experience of 12. And uh, apologies for the sudden cut in the video. Had a bit of a sneeze. Right. He's got a dual experience of five. I've got a dual experience of 12. And that explains why our dual, uh, why our personal combat skill is quite so high. Okay, cool. I accept your mission. Um, okay. During your wife's recent visit to... Uh, Slutsk, we had a great time discussing similarities between our people. I suggest a non-aggression pact um, between us for the near future, and we'll welcome any visitors from your realm with open arms. Okay, where is that? You know what? Sure. A wonderful idea. While we're at it, do you want an alliance? No. Not at all. He just wants non-aggression. He just doesn't want me to attack him. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, right, where's the person I need to duel? Let's duel this guy. Um, he has chosen to accept our challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. Just as I smack my wooden staff flat across his legs, Captain Erdvilias manages to swing his dull spear in a perfect half circle, causing me to fall backwards with a surprised hoof. Dizzy, I can just about make out the sounds of the crowd. It's not my name they are chanting. Where did I go wrong? We're wounded, we got a swollen wrist, and we lost. However, we gained renown because it was a duel uh, for experience, essentially, so that's fine. Since the duel, I've been practicing a bit with Captain Ervilas. Uh, the man did best me, and I was quick to ask for any pointers. He seemed surprised at first, but today I'm proud to tell him that he's a good teacher. And friend, I add. Um... So, there's no shame in acknowledging a worthy opponent. You know what? Sure. We'll, 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 we'll accept this friendship is happening. Right. Defensive pact has been disbanded as we are no longer threatening. My acquaintance died attending to chamber business. Uh, on this guy's death, things might mix, mix around because his heir is currently somebody who's outside our realm. Okay. We could just make that guy inside our realm, and then that would solve the problem, wouldn't it? Um, we could force vassalization upon him, although we need to have a thousand prestige to do so, which is a little bit more than we currently have. Uh, we could also go raid some places as well right now, which might be a good way to make some money. Sounds like a good idea. Let's uh, merge up and raid. Right. Perhaps it is time I ask Chief uh, Karnak to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. I'll ask him. Karnak was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with him, I'm confident I convince him how, of how alike we are that he only stands to gain from our friendship. I think these days have really helped me getting uh, Karnak to know and appreciate me better. We spent most of our time visiting my domain, discussing the most disparate topics. So I can give him a gift, or... I can say we can trust each other more now. Let's say we can trust each other more now. Let's push him up that way. You want to be my vassal? And that's still a no. It's still pretty much a firm no from him. Okay. Well, we'll make sure that we have our uh, leaders in charge. Toggle that looter flag and um, let's start raiding. Uh, the old wound is finally healed, leaving behind a pretty grotesque scar. Okay, where's our holy sites, by the way? We have one here, one here. Wait, do we have, we have the three holy sites. So all we're missing is the moral authority. Okay. That's cool. A few more conquests we need to do then. It's fine. Salt this down. Child lacks an education focus. That's uh, Yevna the Heavenly. Um, We can give her a learning focus, I suppose. But actually, diplomacy seems to be what she's slightly better at. Give her a diplomatic focus. Right, we've got some money. Attack in here. Chief uh, Lutaverus is a belligerent commander fighting with the strength of a dragon. 
Not that anyone's keeping count, but I find myself wondering how many enemies he is taking down single-handedly at this point. Save from for me, will you? I call across the plains. He is a one-man army. We definitely appreciate him. Yeah, is he our friend? Or, oh no, we, guess, we gave him a county, so he uh, loves us. Okay. We'll siege down this province as well. Perfect. Did we capture somebody there? Sounded like we captured somebody. Um, we need a new leader. We are running out of leaders here. Uh, let's get a new commander. Here, let's get two. Uh, Songela. And... Uh, we got Lut Barris, who can be a commander instead of our five here. Uh, yeah. Who was the other one? The other one was uh, Songila, who was a 20. Oh, fantastic. Well, uh, uh, that's great. Right, uh, did I hear a... Oh, my concubine Rose tells me that she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Well, that, that could be right, I'm sure. Right, we'll disband here, and I just want to have a look. Did we capture prisoners? We did. We captured a uh, Geralt here. Who I think I will just ransom back. Fantastic. Um, we also captured uh, far too many consonants. I think that's uh, Wizbora. Um, can't ransom her back because nobody would pay the ransom. Uh, oh, he's currently considering another offer. That's fine. Uh, he's not going to pay this ransom though. Why not? He can afford it, he just doesn't want to. Okay. Um, well, I think we probably just leave her in case we need a sacrifice then. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, how much money do we have? We have 64. We need a little bit more before we can get our retinue, but we also need a little bit more retinue cap. So does any of these give us retinue cap? Yeah, this one does. The market village. We'll buy that one. Cool. Uh, I still don't think that this guy wants vassalization, does he? We could show him our power by going and raiding him, but he probably wouldn't appreciate that very much. I Actually, even if he liked us at, at, at um, full opinion, he still won't accept it. It's unfortunate. Lithuania, if we attacked it, we could do a conquest, can't we? We could do a conquest, and that would increase our moral authority, which might be a good idea. Um, we could also do one of many people's claims. I think I'm going to just um, declare a war on them. How strong are they? 2,000. That's fairly strong with another 1,000 backing them up. That's probably the strongest we've seen. Hmm. Okay. Declare a war. And we're declaring a war for... And uh, Nalcia. Right. A child lacks an education. This child can have a... Um, intrigue education. Fine, we'll call in our allies. And we will raise up our troops. Nice. Merge up in our capital. Speed things up while we merge up. But still, we're going to slope back down when we enter war. Right, merged up. A young, uh, Tov -tivli Tov Tivilus has finished his educations in the ways of war. It turned out less well than expected. Okay. What's this? He's groomed. This character always takes care to look his best. Um. Okay. Not exactly the era I was looking for. Well. You know what we need to do with him? We need to make him a commander. That's really the only way we can sort him out, isn't it? We're going to stick him in. And he's going to lead our armies. For uh, good or for ill. We will make a good commander out of him. Right. Steward. Um, I guess we might as well have the best person be our steward. And he can build a legend here to potentially get some more troops. That should mean that we need to replace him as commander now. Uh, yes, we do. Fantastic. We'll replace him with uh, this guy. Right, that works. Walk over here. Oh, we can attack in before they merge up their armies. That seems like a great opportunity for us. Chief uh, Arunas has been going around Memo facing uh, Visvaldis, claiming that he would make a much better king than I do. Perhaps I should not have treated the elder so poorly. Wait, who did I treat poorly? This elder? 
How did I, why did I treat him poorly? I declared an unjust war. Curse that resentful fool. Oh, no, it was, it was Arunas I treated poorly. Yeah, by uh, taking his titles. Okay, well, he's going to be dead soon. He is, he's one-handed, one-eyed, has an infection, and is wounded. Yeah, he's not got long to live, I don't think. Okay. Looks like there is going to be a fight here. We want to be part of that. I'm sure that if I use the influence I hold over my tribes to increase his standing, Chief Karnak will come to appreciate me more. Um... I'll spare a few words from. Those are the few words I sweared were the I spared were the only things that I needed for him to warm up to me. Nice. Likes me a little bit more now. Wanna be my vassal yet? Uh no. Okay. That's fine. I do want to defeat their army, so I'm gonna start marching our way up here. Your reputation as a devout follower follower of Perkunas. Uh, or Perkunas has uh, spread across the lands. Many great and seasoned warriors have since traveled to Memel to pledge their allegiance to your cause. Nice. Good. We caught an army. I've defeated it. Uh, I want to walk up here and defeat his next army. Once we assault that one back down. Right. Let's defeat it. 6,000 versus a lot less. Was that a child being born that I just clicked through? Yes, we have a son named uh, Povilas now. I, I just completely clicked past it and then we, I heard the child noise afterwards. That was the only thing that tricked me. Or, or picked me back on, into this. Uh, we'll give him a pride education. Uh, right. Feeling the power of the wood flowing through my veins, I snarl at the enemy commander, visibly startling him. Surrender! He shouts, I am Povilas, and the man's words are cut short by my weapon cutting through his throat. And say, rest now, brother, or I'll mount to your head on my fortress walls. You know what? Rest now, brother. We're, we're very respectful. We're bloody, we're, we're aggressive, but we're respectful. Karnak has declared a subjugation war on the Uzlians. Who's that? Oh, Karnak goes around the back. That's why he, he, he's not weak. Oh, so he's declared on those guys. I didn't even know they existed. Oh, so I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree. I want this guy to be my vassal. Yeah, I'm completely barking up the wrong tree. I thought there were three people there. I should have been swaying that guy the whole time. Anyway, whatever. We'll head down south here. South here, yep. Get the war goal. I didn't know it was the war goal anyway. Uh, which one did I declare for? Yeah, perfect. That's the war goal. Need a new spy master. That's going to be uh, Naula. She can see if she can find any plots. Oh, we have one known plot. To kill me. Um, excuse me? I want to end my plot. I want to get rid of him. Um, he's my rival. I want to duel him. We'll get him in a second. I also want to... Can I... I want to get rid of these people. Yeah. It'd be nice if you could say, I know you're backing the plot against me. I want to... Uh, yeah. I would very much like to imprison you now. But I guess we can't. So uh, we'll ask them to stop backing the plot very nicely. Yeah. They said they will stop backing the plot. That's fine. My concubine tells me she is pregnant. That can't be right, can it? That's Anel. Okay, doubt besets me, but you know, offer peace and force our demands on that province. Nice. Right. Head back into our lands. I've thought it over and I cannot be the father of my concubine Anel's baby as it grows in her belly. I have trouble sleeping. I must put the matter to rest. I'll hire someone to find out. Right. Spans. Actually, we might want to use them for raiding. But how's our moral authority looking? It's looking good. So that was another county conquest. I think each one is 1%, which isn't necessarily going to be that quick. Uh, you know what? Toggle Looter, go and march onto his lands. I'm going to challenge him to a duel at the same time. He accepts my challenge to a duel. I'm swinging my weapon wildly when suddenly Chief Rostolaf shrieks in pain. Dropping my plus two axe, I am stuck staring at the mess I made. It seems I managed to make his eyes bleed, possibly blinding him. 
and say, I take it so I uh, win the fight, or I've been waiting for this, you filthy snake. Definitely. People will be upset about this merciless action. Well, I don't care. We're killing him. He's trying to kill us. I'm just being more direct about it. It's come to our attention that your son, Tot Tivilus, remains outside of our fold. May we humbly urge you to talk to him about becoming a member of the Band of Medina like his father. You know what? I accept your mission, because I was planning on doing that and completely forgot. So, I will recruit you to the Warrior Lodge. Oh, I forgot he was betrothed. Oh yeah. This whole time I was thinking I should get married. No, he's already... I did that. My very young son smiles broadly at my encouragement. I thought you would never ask. I'll contact Chief Cerulus right away, father. I was just waiting for you to be ready. Yeah, he will report back to me once his trial is over. Lovely. The maid I, I spied to pay on my concubine has confirmed my suspicions. Chief uh, Yedetus of uh, Yurksika is Anel's lover and the real father of my child. This is high treason. I can imprison both of them. Obviously, I'm going to imprison my concubine. And I'm going to definitely imprison uh, Chief Yetus. Or uh, Yedetus. He's raised his flag in rebellion. Well, we'll get him in a second. As he's growing older, I can see that uh, my Lewis could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas. I'm afraid I'm not giving him anything because I'm basically just educating him to change his, um, his ways. But that's fine. I'll call on my allies and my vassals to this war. I still want to siege down this land. My young son has joined me for dinner tonight. I'm not stop and my young son has joined me for dinner tonight and has not stopped talking about his initiation duel. It was exhilarating, father, and now I am one of the band of Medina. I knew you had it in you. Fantastic! We've recruited our child. That seems to have gone well. All right, so we'll march in here. Salt that down. We'll head our way up. Did we capture another prisoner there? I think we might have. Yeah, we captured two new prisoners. We captured Bolislav. Or Bolis... Or is that Bolislaw? Bolislaw? I can't change his education. Because he doesn't have one yet. But he can stay in our prison. And I captured Anel. Oh, wait, no. Anel's my concubine. Obviously. Oh, wait. Is Bolis... Un... Never mind. I thought that she just had a child. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm crazy. I must just be crazy. Yeah. I, I did capture two separate ones. That's fine. On Toggle Looter, when we get back to our lands, we can then use them to attack in. And my Lois seems to be a real explorer and experimenter, constantly finding new ideas and topics that fascinate him. Let's make him shrewd. That's okay. Right. Um. So... Uh, we'll leave our concubine in there for just now. Head up here. Defeat our... Um, our... Uh, vassal. I was trying to think of a good adjective, but... Ended with vassal, so completely failed that one. Offer peace and force our demands. We've taken that. The betrothed can marry. We will, of course, accept it, because they've been betrothed a long time. Right. Um, and... We now have them both imprisoned. Obviously, my first move here is going to be to revoke his title. Yep. That's step number one. Step number two. Um, I think just execution. Yeah. That's fine. He was beheaded. And then my concubine. Uh, you know what? I think, again, execution. Yeah, she was uh, hanged. Right. Let's solve them. So now we have this one here. Do we keep him in our prison until we can educate him? Potentially, yeah. Let's do that. We have an unlanded son. Well, I have one extra bit of land, so you know what? You can have the land that was uh, just hit. That I just took. Consider it a wedding gift. Right, we have an unmarried heir. But he is about to be married. Uh, we'll wait a second or two. 
I feel it would not be in my best interest for them to marry. He said no to the marriage. Wait, no he didn't. Oh, it's because I, I already accept... Okay, no, that bug's been in him for a while. It's not really a bug, it's just you get too... It's because you... Um, I said, can we marry? And then I accepted his marriage. But what should have happened was um, I accept his marriage and then we don't need the other part of that. Anyway, I've taken that... Uh, I've taken a province. I've got some money. Well, I haven't got that much, but um, I defended my honor against uh, one, that guy. Well, that guy's father. So that's good. Yeah, I think we did a lot this episode. Right, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.